At its core, the Death Star is a giant city in space, housing millions of loyal subjects of the Galactic Empire. Attention to detail is at its peak, and impeccable care goes into every single square inch of the space station. There are a lot of moving pieces that keep the Death Star working, and one of the most important pieces is the sewage system. There are over one million people on this space station, and to accommodate the needs of all these people, our team installed 22,000 toilets. Here you can see an overlay of the sewage piping system. If you could lay all of the sewage piping flat, it would stretch a whopping 25,000 miles. The sewage pipe is made out of highly malleable materials. It's made to flex. If there's a heavy clog in the line, the pipe is designed to not burst. It will flex and accommodate the stuck sludge until it is eventually dislodged. With 1.1 million people, 22,000 toilets, and 25,000 miles of piping on board, what happens to all the waste? Once the flood tanks are full, our sewage treatment coordinator gets in the tank and double checks that no one is in there. Accidents have happened, people have been found in the sewage system. Once the sewage treatment coordinator gives the okay, gives the thumbs up, we proceed to jettison the human waste out of the station into space. It's not messy, most people think it's going to be messy. The waste actually quickly takes the form of a sphere in zero G and freezes in the vacuum of space. In fact, these big frozen balls of poop are often mistaken for asteroids. The Hulf asteroid belt is actually made up of millions of waste dumps. The technology on the station is unlike anything the galaxy has ever seen, but it's the men and women getting their hands dirty every day that keep the ball spinning.